stuff. All my stuff, my things, my belongings, my clothes, and my books. Just clothes, just books. I'm here in Mexico, cut off from my home, far from my people, far from my bed, far from the Fort Tryon Park and its views of the Hudson Cliffs that always and forever will take my breath away. I am far from the friends I never see because that's what New York City does to friendships. Scatters you to far corners of geography, opposite ends of the day. I'm in a beautiful place. I'm in a calm place. Not going back. I've decided to not go back. Stay put. Hunker down in my hole with the breeze and the lightning storms and the tamales horochos and the baker who sings his ditty about the baker and the bread as he pushes his bread cart down the street at dusk. I miss my friends and I talk to them more than before. We zoom into each other's lives. We make time for each other's faces more than before, more than ever, it seems. I miss them and I'm lonely, but I also like the loneliness, the solitude, anyway. I like the space. I like buying fresh tortillas from the woman right next door. This morning, her husband, who looked like blind in one eye, asked me if the Chinese are really to blame. There's no rush in my day. No stress, except what I conjure within, except what I invite. My stuff, my Nietzsche and Susan Laurie Parks and Philip Roth and Chimananda and Gozi Adichie. All those books I collected and didn't read now I just want to get rid of them. I'm fixating on this. Purging my things. Making certain they go to homes and not the garbage. Why am I fixating on samsara? People are dying. Human lights are going out and I'm obsessing over things. Things are replaceable. A person is not. Neither is a mountain or a dolphin or a river. Rivers are cleaning themselves, washing us out of their currents, out of their hair. Skies are bluing over Beijing. Maybe I'll finally go there now. Not now. Someday. Far off or near. Likely far. The world's been burning for decades. And now we're burning and receding into caves, equipped with Wi-Fi and streaming. And the burning outside is perhaps receding just a bit. And I celebrate that recession. Small r. I celebrate the blue skies over Beijing. I give thanks for the grizzlies roaming free in Yosemite. I don't give thanks for the virus, but 
The virus is here. It's everywhere. And we, in response, are not. For the first time in a long time. When I walk by the Great Pyramid of Cholula, I hear the birds singing in the trees. The birds are not on fire, nor the tiny lizard scuttling vertically up the tree, nor the moon as it continues in its wax and its wane, as it has for millennia. We are on fire. What will be left of us when the flames subside? Who will we emerge as from the ash?